morning. Uh, this is the deep dive for Ovid monitoring with Grafana and DWH. And my name is Shirley Radko. I'm a BI principal software engineer. Um, let's get started. Uh, so on the agenda, uh, I'll give a brief overview of what is the data warehouse. Um, and uh, I'll, dem I'll show you about Grafana, which is the new feature that we're presenting in the 4.4 release and some examples. Uh, I would like to first thanks, thank the contributors to this project uh, from the engineering, Didi and Aviv, uh, from the QE, Lucy, Gui, Pavel, documentation, Ellie, and the managers, Sandro, Peter, Doron, and Michal, thank you very much for helping in this project. Um, Okay, so what is the data warehouse, DWH? Um, the data warehouse is, has been with the Ovid for at least nine years, approximately. Um, it, it includes both a process and a database uh, that collects data about uh, the Ovid environment, about the um, entities of the environment, the OVET engine, uh, the data center, the clusters, the VMs, hypervisors, storage, and network. Um, we collect uh, to the data warehouse both metrics and configuration um, details about each uh, of these components. Uh, since this is a very, um, this is, um, has been with us for a long time, it's stable, uh, and it is based on the Postgres uh, database. Um, when we are talking about uh, um, the process of DWH, um, we are talking about a process which is called in BI ETL. ETL is short for Extract, Transform, and Load. It's a term in BI. Uh, so the first step, extract. We are extracting data from the engine database both metrics and configuration, uh, and in, in one-minute intervals. Um, in this process, we are um, the data is being validated, trans uh, transformed, cleansed, and uh, we are adding additional metadata uh, per uh, what we need. Um, the samples that we are gathering, sorry, we are aggregating them to hourly and daily aggregations. And we have data retention, uh, which means the time that we are saving this data for. Um, we have two types of uh, data retention, uh, basic and full. The basic is the default. Um, and in the basic, we save data, samples data, which are in uh, one minute intervals for 24 hours. Uh, hourly data is saved for one month, and we are not saving any daily data. In the full scale, we are saving data, samples, table, uh, da uh, samples data for 24 hours, hourly data for two months, and daily data for five years. So in the full uh, scale, uh, you can have a rich history of your uh, configurations and your metrics, and we do recommend using the full but uh, since it can impact the disk uh, usage um, and uh, depending on your environment, if it's a big environment, uh, full might mean you will need to move the DWH to a separate machine. I'll touch about that uh, as we go along. And uh, the last step of this process is to save the data to the DWH database, uh, which is called Overt Engine History. Uh, by, de by default, a uh, DWH database is on the same machine as the engine database, um, and it is installed by default. Uh, it is also the base for the admin portal dashboards. Um, the D DWH database can be migrated to a separate machine. Uh, we can see here in the flow that we have um, the hosts and VMs. In the Ovet environment, we have the RevM the, or the Ovet manager. Um, 
that is pulling from this, the host um, the data and saves it to the Postgres engine database. The data warehouse pulls from the engine database and saves it to the data warehouse. And the, the new um, feature that we are presenting now is adding Grafana. Grafana is the UI for the data warehouse. Okay, so a bit about Grafana. Let's talk about Grafana. A Grafana is the UI tool used to display the data store stored in the Ovid PWH Postgres database. It includes pre-built dashboards for the data centers, clusters, host, and VM data. And we have four categories at the moment, executive dashboards, trend dashboards, service level dashboards, and the inventory. So in executive dashboards, for example, you will have a more high level about your what uh, does your data center includes um, top five uh, um, busiest uh, hosts in the data center and such a, a more a general overview. In the trend dashboards, you will see over time a uh, usage consumption uh, for each entity. Um, service level, you can uh, um, determine the uh, amount of time. Um, I'll touch in the service level afterwards. I'll show you an example. And in the inventory, you'll have uh, um, several dashboards that you can uh, see your VM inventory and your host inventory and other details like uh, over commit usage for each, um, um, if you have the hosts, um, for example, how many, how many CPUs you have for the hosts and how many allocated CPUs you have for the VMs in this, uh, in, uh, in this host, and you can have the overcommit for this. Uh, for this. Um, also, uh, Grafana uh, allows to create a, a user custom dashboards. This means that the users can create the users can create their own dashboards. They can either have a, a brand new dashboards uh, or a copy the existing dashboard and change them uh, to their needs. Uh, add or remove data. Uh, the dashboards are based on the legacy over reports project that was in the past and uh, Jasper and then we use Jasper reports for visualizing the data in DWH. Uh, data is dis uh, displayed based on time period selected by the user and includes the samples, hourly and daily statistics. Um, it also allows you to um, choose your the data set that you want to watch, the cluster, the host. There's a drop-down list and you can um, uh, really uh, get the view that you want for your data. Uh, so a bit about the installation, um, Grafana and DWH installed by default during the engine setup. Um, there is not much that the user needs to do in order to get it running. Um, DWH is installed in basic scale by default, as I mentioned before. And we recommend to change the bridge to full scale, but it's not mandatory. And if you want to get to get more details about that, uh, there is a link um, to how to do to change to full scale. Um, so let's uh, go over a bit about the installation. Um, this is an example of an upgrade that I made. Uh, you can see here that there is Grafana integration part, uh, which is run uh, without any um, uh, thing that the user needs to do. Uh, the only step that the, uh, you, the user can do is to choose a password for a user created for Grafana. Uh, this is a read-only user. Uh, by default, the user will get the password that the Ovid admin has. So this is also not a mandatory step. At the end of the installation or the upgrade, uh, you will get a link to the Grafana instance. 
um, with also a comment uh, that uh, you, if you want to get the SSO working, you can run it, uh, you, you will need to re uh, restart the OVET engine. Uh, when you go to the admin portal uh, login page, uh, there is another um, link to the monitoring portal, which is the Grafana. And these are some examples. Uh, it's really a small um, part of the dashboard, dashboards that we have there. Uh, this is from the executive dashboards. Um, and this one is called executive dashboard. Uh, we can see her user um, spy session activity based on the time. Um, we can see her the, um, uh, the OS breakdown. Um, per time and what's go uh, and at the moment the current uh, breakdown um, we have a uh, also cluster dashboard that I mentioned before in the executive uh, dashboards and this is a general overview of your cluster you can have you see here the number of hosts VMs uh, uptime um, resources status uh, CPU peaks and memory um, CPU average uh, and many more uh, information about your cluster. Uh, for the trend dashboards, uh, this is another nice example. This one is about uh, host resources usage. Um, as you can see at the top, and for almost every dashboard, you will have a drop down list where you can you can choose the data center, the cluster. A host that you want to choose uh, to see uh, if you want to see deleted items or not. And uh, in this example, we have a, um, we can choose either to see day of week or um, hour of day. And you can see here how in the different uh, uh, resources uh, how they are um, how is the usage over the day of week or a uh, hour of day. Um, this is an inventory dashboard. Uh, I mentioned it also before. So, for example, here you can see for the CPU, the total host CPUs for each data center, the total VMs, um, uh, CPU cores, and for the running CPU cores, and the over commit for each one. And you will see also when it's uh, the percentages are high, uh, they will be marked. Uh, with red as a warning. Um, let me go also to my environment and I'll just 